Hey students, welcome to another episode in our Nocturnal Notes series. Um, I'm Josh, I'm one of the junior high pastors here, and I'm just so excited to be able to talk to you guys again. We miss you so much on the student team, and we're super excited about reopening here soon. And I hope that this Nocturnal Notes series has been a blessing to you so far, and I hope that this episode you can take some time to just sit back and listen to maybe what God is doing and saying to you today. And I just want to take a few minutes to talk about a couple of things. So first, I was asked if, what, like, what would be a reason I get up really early in the morning? And I would say it'd probably be if I was, like, going on a long trip and I needed to drive somewhere, so, like, I need to get up earlier. Or if I was going to work early and had something doing like that on, like, a Sunday morning or something. Or if I had like an event that morning or something like that, those would be some reasons I get up early and it's, I don't really sleep in super late, but I get like, I do prefer to like sleep till like eight or nine if I can, but some, like a lot of times I'll be up at like seven or six if, if I just wake up or something like that. But, and to answer the next question, if I'm a night owl or a morning person, I would definitely say I'm a night owl. Um, I would much rather be up later. Um, but like some, it's weird though, like sometimes I like, stay up late and then I get really tired, tired like quicker than other people, but then at the same time I don't really want to get up early in the morning. So maybe I'm neither. Maybe I'm more like I just sleep. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I'd say more of a night owl. Um but anyway, so continuing in our nocturnal note series, um you've heard a lot about the darkness and how Satan is part of this darkness that is trying to overcome the world and how he's trying to drag people down and he does that by killing or trying to kill steal and destroy he does that by trying to deceive he does it in many different ways but then in contrast there's the light there's Jesus and um, Kim talked about it a little bit this past episode or how Jesus is the forgiveness of our sins and when we lean into the light we can get that and so I want to continue on a little bit in this idea about light and I want to compare it a little bit to something that you guys might have experienced when you were kids and I definitely did is like the idea of being afraid of the dark and a lot of ways that people would solve that well some people would just have to sleep through it which okay like my parents didn't make me do that but like some people would have night lights which is cool but like what my family would do for me is we would crack the door open to my room and we would leave the hall light on so that light would seep through and so I could see a little bit out there and then the room wouldn't be as dark. And that helped me out a lot, especially because I just was afraid of the dark and afraid of the shadows that come through that, maybe something in my closet. Like something funny that I can remember is I was afraid of the rumor weed from VeggieTales. If you guys remember that, have you ever watched that? It's so lame because it's a VeggieTales character, but I would think it was in my closet and I'd be so afraid of it. And so I had to sleep with the light on and so, or the light from the hall. And so we think about that a little bit, Jesus talks about this idea, or John, in his uh, book of John, um, the Gospel of John, which we're going to be in John 1, verse 5 today, and I'm reading for the NLT if you want to pull that up as well, but John talks about how Jesus is the Word, how he has been with God since the beginning, he is God and always has been God and will be with God forever, and in this awesome and super famous piece of scripture, he talks about how Jesus is also the light. He says in verse 5 that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can't extinguish it. And so if we think about that idea, like when you think about a light being shined into a dark room, it illuminates. It's, it stands out. You can see it. It brightens the room. It overcomes that darkness that's covering. And in the same way, when Jesus is brought into situations, when he comes into a situation, whether it's a darkness in your life you're experiencing, maybe Satan's trying to bring you down with anxiety or depression or loneliness or some other feelings you might have from the past few months of this world that have just been super crazy. Or maybe you look at the injustices in this world and you see how Satan tries to divide us and how he tries to make people treat other people unfairly. Or maybe there's just something going on in your life right now that just feels really heavy maybe it's weighing you down or maybe Satan's trying to convince you that you're not good enough or that you're not close enough to Jesus or you'll never amount to what he wants you to be. See, there's all these ways that darkness tries to overcome us, but when we lean into Jesus, he protects us from that darkness. He overcomes that darkness because Jesus is greater than the darkness. He's a light that shines through it. And Jesus himself talks about this later on in John in chapter 8 in verse 12. Um, Jesus said that I am the light of the world. 
if you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. You see, when we follow Jesus, when we're followers of Jesus, we get to walk into the light. And even though the world is still dark, even though the world is still hard, even though hard things still happen, we can lean into the light of the world. We can lean into Jesus who illuminates it, who overcomes it all, because he offers life, new life in him. And when we think about why Jesus died on the cross, he didn't just die to go to heaven and be far away from us or something. No, he gave us the Holy Spirit and he gave us his light. He wanted us to lean into the new life he offers through his resurrection. And so students, I don't know what's keeping you up tonight, or I don't know what's bothering you this morning, but just know that Jesus is the light of the world and that he has overcome any darkness that you're experiencing, any hard situations you're enduring, and he wants to carry you through it all. And that nothing can be overcome by Jesus. No fear of this world, no anxiety, no injustice is greater than what Jesus has done and what he will continue to do and what he will carry us through. So if you're having a hard situation right now, Jesus, or students, just lean into what Jesus is doing for you. And so students, we miss you. I'm excited to see you soon and hope you have a great rest of your night.